Sense. Hi, I'm Zach Smitty Orban Jaegerman Jensen, Bunkminster the Third, and I'm gonna tell you a little history about the song Haze. You ready for some old-fashioned learning? Well, come on, kids! Now, the Songhei Empire was the dominant empire for most of the 16th century. That was until a Moroccan force came and took them by surprise. <laughs> oh, can I get some lettuce on that? Yeah, thanks. Now, when the Songhei Empire started to crumble, like a cookie, if you will, they started to emerge some city-states in the Western Africa region. The Kingdom of Kanem Bornu dominated the region around Lake Chad, and the House of People established thriving commercial city-states to the west. In the forests south of the grasslands, Oyo and Asante people built powerful regional kingdoms. On the coast, Diola, Mande, and other trading peoples established a series of states that entered into commercial relations with European merchant mariners who called at the West African ports after the 15th century. As the Songhei Empire was being displaced by city-states, the Swahili Empire was having some rough times as well. When the Portuguese mariner Vasco da Gama made his way up the East African coast en route to India in 1497 and 1498, he skirmished with the local forces at Mozambique and Mombasa. On his second voyage to India in 1502, he forced the ruler of Kilwa to pay tribute. Seventy-four, seventy-five. All right. In 1505, the Portuguese naval expeditions subdued all of Swahili from Samba to Mombasa. They tried to control trade in East Africa but were very unsuccessful. Well, that's all the time for our video today. I hope you learned a lot of valuable things, things that will get you through life. So thank you, Advanced Placement World History. But yeah, another thing. Let's take some animals.